Howdy folks and welcome back to Call of the Wild the Angler. So in our first video, we uh, we took a look around, uh, got kind of a feel for the game, talked a little bit about pros and cons so far. And uh, we've done a few missions and we were presently on like the Golden Tour mission, whatever the hell that is. Uh, basically we're, we're just going around and looking for things from what I understand. Uh, we got some favors, some tasks. There, there's lots of stuff to do um, in terms of missions, so you don't have to just constantly fish, which I appreciate. Uh, but anyways, I'm off to the first point, which can we set waypoints? I can track that. Um, ah, good. So tracking will set me a marker. All right, good. Um, so yeah, uh, as I get to each waypoint or if I see something interesting, I'll bring you guys in for that. But uh, this is probably going to take a while, so yeah. See you when we get there. I'm sorry that uh, we came back a bit early. Just listen to this. It sounds like a horse. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the sounds could use some adjusting because that is not what you sound like. You don't sound like a galloping horse when you're going across a bridge like that. Oh, uh, anyways. Alright, so apparently there's 22 lookout towers. And this is uh, lookout tower number... Hey, look at that. We've got a shadow. How nice. If we pull out our rod, will it show that? It does. Kind of. Eh, anyways. I guess we'll come up here, we'll explore, see what this one has to say. Later, American trappers rendered the French name in English as Golden Ridge Reserve. I quite like the old moniker, but hey, the new one's not too shabby. So did that update our map at all? A little bit. It gave us some more places to kind of check out on our journey. So we got over here. I'll probably swing up over here and then come get maybe these two? I don't know. Um, we'll go there next though. Ah, can't go around. If I jump, will I die? No. Okay. So there's no death in the game. <laughs> At least not for us. Alright, well, uh, on to the next. Um, so we're supposed to go over there, but I just noticed there's flippin' torches in a forest! We've got these flippin' torches just... yeah, um... Probably not the greatest of plans. Uh, looks like we have a weather station or something over there. That's kind of neat. I, I, I just want to explore a little bit. What do we got over here? This looks like a weather station. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's a little weather station. Doesn't look like it works worth crap, but hey, it's a nice touch. Location, new trailhead? What? Wait, what? Report. Oh, that's a GPS doohick. Sensitive to a fault. And it looks like this one's kaput. Keep an eye out for more if you can. Um, experience is rewarded for... Awarded for activities such as catching fish, discovering locations, and finding items. As you gain experience, you will also be given credits that can be used to purchase equipment, clothing, and more for the shop. 
Earn enough experience and you will level up, granting you an additional bonus of credits. Fair enough, so I... I that's what I get for being curious, huh? I, get, I, I find stuff. Alright. Um, anyway, so we're supposed to head over there. Um, looks like we're at an old sawmill of some sort. I don't know which way is the quicker way around. I do like the texture on this, on these logs. That's that's really cool. You got the moss because it's all soaking wet and whatnot. I don't know what all these chemicals are by the frickin' water, but, you know, whatever. For those of you who don't know, I do enjoy fishing. I did quite a bit of fishing uh, growing up here in Colorado, up in the mountains. Loved it. And then when I was uh, in the military, I was stationed on the uh, southern coast. And I'd go fishing off the uh, southern coast, which was kind of fun too. Did a couple charting, charter trips as well while we were out there. And it, was, it was good, man. It caught me some, uh, some big fish, man. Holy cow. Some yellow jack and whatnot. Ugh, these things are huge and they put up a fight. But anyways, um, okay, we got graffiti. Do we do we report graffiti? No. Okay. What we got going on here? Pick up. What is that? Our Norwegian friendship dollar? Huh. Okay, can we climb up here? Condemned, danger, keep out. So we, we can't climb up there, okay. They say this Fair park enough. is haunted. And well, the only baloney I care to deal with is in a sandwich, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh. However, if we're talking about the ghosts the logging industry left behind, I'd have to agree. There's the ghosts of men and women who lob down sweet mother nature's vital vitality for a, a toot or two. There's the ghosts of fir, juniper, and pine, took from us far, far too soon. Heck, the building itself is a ghost, once worn with its own baleful life and energy. And look at it now, just an eerie shell where work once was. Although I'll have to ask you to stay out of there for safety reasons. Should probably remove this bit from the tape later on if I figure out how. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, right. What the heck? Oh, buoys. I, th I thought they were like balls or balloons or something at first. Hey, look at that. So there's these things that we can find and pick up. Keys. We found keys. Alright. Is there, like, more stuff for us to find and pick up around here? Can we come up here? Oh, oh, oh we can. Hey, there's nothing up there. Alright, um... Okay. So, um... Right, uh, what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do now? Oh, right, we were gonna... I was gonna come up to this one. Visit Silver Strand Meadows Outpost. Um, this is going to be a very, very long hike, so I will see you when uh, we get closer. Alright, so we are at a... something. Found ourselves a little village, something like that. We're going to come take a closer look. We got some rapids. A nice little wooden bridge here. Maruka. Aha! Uh -huh. So we've got another place to rent out a vehicle if we wanted. What is this area? What do we got here? Silver Strand Meadows Outpost. Oh, it's right, right there. <laughs> uh, if I would have just uh, kept walking. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I should be looking around for more collectibles. Probably should. I probably should. 
I don't know if we're going to come across anything, but, you know. You never know, I suppose. Run down fishing village. Yeah, that's not even really a fishing village. Maybe it's more like a campsite. I should probably call it a campsite, because that's probably what it is. Probably what it be. And uh, this video is not going to be too terribly long, guys. I just realized what time it is, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to bed soon because it's almost 5 a.m. here. Yeah, it's almost 5 a.m. I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you work the swing shift. You just stay up late and sleep through the day. Fire. got like a chimney rock thing going on over here. That's kind of cool. As we horse gallop across the bridge. Studded right in the center of the towering Alpine Peaks is our Silver Strand Meadows Outpost, offering shelter to travelers from the mountain trail. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation, as well as a flagpole for yourself. Bait. Nothing in there. Dang it. <laughs> Don't sit there and tell me there's bait and there's not actually bait. I mean, come on. That's a tease, man. That's a tease. Is it a flagpole for myself? Do I actually have to do something to get the flagpole? Like we do in Call of the Wild? Like the Hunter Call of the Wild? I guess we gotta go to the outpost and we're gonna find out, huh? I probably should have checked in the other one, but it says that we unlocked the uh, fast travel point, so... I don't know. Hey, I see glowing stuff. Why is it glowing? What's going on here? Catch a fish here. Oh, we got challenges. Meadows map challenge one. Catch a silver rank mountain white fish at the map location. Oh, so we got challenges too. This is kind of cool. Oh, we got three of them. Nice. All right. Well, cool. We'll, we'll take them. Photo challenges. So we got photo challenges as well, huh? Oh, at the photo location. Oh, well, we know where that's at. We, we, were, there. we were just there. All right. Okay. Right, so I, I mean, might as well just pick them up while we can, right? Catch for me a huge fish, Sophia. A big fish from Sophia. And catch for me a fish from Sophia. <laughs> All right. Well, Sophia, uh, we will get there eventually. Um, the way I like to do games like this is I like to unlock the map. So I have the whole map available to me. There's our flagpole. Burka. Do we do anything with it? No. Okay. Um, so I'm, I... I guess we'll just keep exploring this area until we've got it explored. We're exploring. We're explorers! Oh, it is pretty, uh... I mean, the graphics aren't too terribly realistic, but, um, it's not bad, and, uh, this is pretty realistic to to what you see in some of these old uh, mountain campsites. What the hell? There's like a building on an island? We're gonna have to get a boat. Sunny Lake. We're gonna have to get a boat to go check that out for sure. Probably can't afford it though. Things seem to be rather expensive in this game. Should we try? 
looks like it's about sundown too. How'd that happen so quickly? I don't see any glowy thingies. I'm just curious. Lionheart 500 Sport. Compact, mobile, lightning fast sport fishing boat crafted from pristine fiberglass for a high durability and unyielding performance. So I can call it. I don't actually have to rent it. Um, okay. Woo, we're in a boat! Yeah! Can we look all the way behind us? No, we cannot. Alright. We got ourselves a boat, though. That's cool. Oh, those are rocks. Let's avoid the rocks. Yeah, this is not the best parking job for a boat. You'd think I'd do better since I actually used to own one. Not too terribly bad. Not too terribly bad. Alright. Anything over here? Surely there's got to be some kind of collectible up here, right? You have to take a frickin' boat to get here. There's got to be something. It could very well be that I'm totally missing them, too. It's not like I'm looking too terribly hard. I don't see anything. Butterflies. What do we got? I mean, it's a nice view. Pretty. I love mountains. Visually, it's not as... Ooh, what do we got here? Unmistakable color. That's a purple loose drive if ever I saw one. These plants have me on my last nerve, buckaroo. Tell me where I can find them. Oh, visually speaking, this game isn't as nice as, say, Way of the Hunter, which I, I've done a couple videos on that. There'll be more. Uh, coming out, but um, still not bad. It's not bad. Oh, wait. Our boat's already here. It's just. Whoa, our boat's flooded. Did you guys. Look at this. We've got flooding in our boat. Are we wearing a life jacket? Oh, I want to get out of this boat. It's sinking, man. Do we dock? Oh, yeah, we're here. I, I don't think our boat should be having water in it like that. That just that don't seem right to me. Uh, you can have that back, sir. I, I don't appreciate the boat filling up with water while I'm in it. Um, anything else? Anything to collect? Some rowboats. Um, not. There, there doesn't seem to be much of anything here. Bar and grill. Hell yes. Yes, please. Son of a. All right. Or not. Oh, collectible. Centennial half dollar. We'll take a look at the collectibles later. Maybe. I don't know if we even can. Um, but how are you going to have the bar and grill closed when we're out here fishing? you got to have beer when you fish. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Beer is a prerequisite to fishing. I want a beer while I fish. Open this damn bar and grill. ASAP, Mr. Warden Man. Jerk. Ah, uh, I swear, man, some people, they just, they're just, there's no consideration for the fishermen out there, man. No consideration. Anyways, let's go see what he has to say up here. I'm starting to dislike this warden more and more. 
24 credits for finding a tower. Okay. Sure, we're making big bucks and we haven't even been fishing. <laughs> oh, mercy. That's fair. I mean, I'll take the money. Don't, don't get me confused. Nice view up here, though. I will say that. This is a nice view. We see Chimney Rock. Sort of. I wonder if I can get up there. I won't try. Bit. The human history of the park itself began at least 11,000 years ago, when the ancestors of the contemporary Shoshone began to hunt and fish in the region. Obsidian, which you'll see dotted around the park, was a key part of their culture. Well, he didn't explain much to us, did he? So if I click over here... Okay, I can fast travel. Got it. There's also a little dock or something like that that was over here. I didn't check it out because I was on this side. Sorry, I had to sneeze, but uh, interesting. So we got trailheads, points of interest. All right, I pass. Don't pass this thing right up. Whatever. We're we're gonna be heading back down this way anyways. Um, they always gotta have one place that's just so out of the way that. Whatever. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, um, I don't see any place to go to, like, change the time of day, which is kind of concerning. I mean, you can do that in every other game like this. I haven't seen nothing for that. Actually, I should, uh, I should start tracking the next point that I'm going towards. Woohoo! Damn! 1.6 kilometers. For those of you that don't know, um, a meter is roughly one yard for the American people out there who don't have a fucking clue. Uh, so that is 1,600 yards, essentially, roughly. I want to see if we can't... Uh, I really want to get up here. Because that would be the perfect place to hide some uh, collectibles. Don't you think? Get up on top of that chimney rock there. That's what I'm calling it, Chimney Rock. I have dubbed this Chimney Rock. And that's what it's going to be called. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Can we? Can we, though? Probably. Jump! You can do it, man. You are a fishing god, so you can get up this rock. Ooh, maybe not. This might be, uh, this might not be doable. Although I seem to be floating now. No, don't go that way, jerk. Just, look, it's just a rock, man. Alright, well, I'm not seeing a way that way. We're still pretty high up here, I mean. We got some. we got up here. We got, we got on the smaller one. I don't see nothing up here, though. You see our little fist? <laughs> um... At least he's not Naruto running. Wait! Nope. Oh, wait, yep. Oh, ho, ho. we made it. Our little fisherman's got a hops where it counts sometimes. It feels like we're floating. I don't know if I like that feeling. Uh oh, we're not going to go up that way. Come on, man, I don't want to fall down and try to have to figure out a way up. I'm not seeing any other way up, though. At least not on these sides. Unless... We oh, snuck around. That's, ooh, maybe over there? Because it's not going to happen over here. Come on, man, you can't put something like this up here and not have me be able to explore it. Yes, yes. 
Yes! Uh-oh, floating bushes. We got some Hunter Call of the Wild fuckery going on here. <laughs> Pretty sure grass does not defy gravity. It's alright. It's not that big of a deal. Most people probably don't eat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We got a little other thingamajigger to check out. And we are not getting up there. Son of a gun. I really wanted to get up there, man. Oh well, we got this thing. Have you tried giving it a good kick? Actually, scratch that and I'll come on down and hook it myself. Can you find me any more? <laughs> but I want to kick it. <laughs> I, I, I really, really want to kick it. Oh well. Right, um... Shoot, guys. Oh, we can die. Respawn, you fell too far. Oh. Okay. Did we lose money or anything? I, I honestly don't know. I didn't... Okay. Um, man, I'm debating on... I should probably end the video here, huh? Yeah. We're at 30-some minutes. Uh, well, no, we're not. You guys, you guys missed out on a whole lot uh, of traveling. So I am, uh, I guess... Shoot, fire, man. Screw it. I got another hour before I have to go to bed. I'm going to meet you guys, uh, I'll bring you guys back once we get to this next point. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, I didn't have to go too far and I found some sparkly, so we'll go ahead and get this. That's all the telltale signs of a bark beetle infestation. I'll notify the fire department that we got an at-risk area on our hands. You do that. And this is late. Corundum or something like that. Whatever. Anyways. Alright, so we're coming upon our next location. Oh. Sparkly. White pine blister rust. Oh, it's a daggone shame, but it's part of the job. Find me more if you can. Uh, that was not on the list. I'm just saying. Four out of 22 lookout towers. And 26 credits. Alright. Oh, sparkly. Not again. That's yellow toad flax. But what it really is is a pain in the keister. Seek and destroy with extreme prejudice, buckaroo. Um, I would, but you didn't give me a flamethrower, bud. Or weed killer, weed be gone, something, man. I, I, I can't do nothing to it. What am I supposed to do, whack it with my fishing pole? I swear. Alright, well. Up we go. Well, that's kind of neat. I like how things are highlighted to where you can't really miss them. Unless you're just not looking in that direction. And there's the old mill right there. We came from all the way back over there. Alright. Obsidian was used to make cutting tools, weapons, and especially arrowheads. Those arrowheads have been found as far as the Mississippi. Which means the locals were likely trading the precious stone to other tribes. Right, so I have a, uh, a conundrum, if you will. So I, I'm ready to kind of end this right now, but I'm afraid to do that because I'm not at an outpost. And I have a feeling that this game is going to be like the Hunter Call of the Wild, where if you leave and come back into the game, it's going to spawn you at the last outpost that you were at, instead of spawning you where you left off. So, I should have thought about that. Look at that, we're already going up to level 4? Is that what that means? We ain't done nothing. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, so I guess I'm going to keep going until I get to the next outpost, um, just to be on the safe side. I, I don't know how the game does things when you leave and come back. And I don't want to uh, have to walk all this way again. So, um, yeah, we're, 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 I'm going to keep going. I, I don't really have much of a choice at this point, so I'll see you at the next uh, waypoint. Alright, well, we're not too terribly far off now. We seem to cover ground fairly quickly. Uh, even on foot, which is nice. I can't much complain about that. I mean, I could, but would, what's the point? Um, I like that we're able to cover ground quickly on foot. If we so choose. I am sprinting, by the way. But even not sprinting, it's still pretty fast. And it's another watchtower. Son of a gun. Alright, well. Looks like we got another waypoint that we're going to have to go to. how uh, I don't gotta do anything to level up and get money. <laughs> Just walk around and explore and you'll level up and, and gain money. So there's a pro tip for you. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to, if you need money to, uh, to get gear and stuff, just go explore. Shit. When explorers first entered the region in 1805, they met the Nez Perce, Crow, and Shoshone tribes in the area. that unlock anything new? No. No, it did not. I'm starting to think that these... Well, that's the waterfall. Vista. So I thought these were just going to be outposts. I know this one for sure is an outpost. I mean, worse comes to worse. I suppose we can get this one. And if... It doesn't let me spawn back right here. I can always just come over here. What I have noticed is that all these things are... Oh, everything but the lookout towers, apparently, you can fast travel to. Which is kind of nice. I like that. I mean, even, you know, the point of interest, you can fast travel to that if you wanted. So that's kind of cool. I do like that. So, where are we headed next? 800 meters? Oh, sparkly! Hey, let me jump the last one. There we go. Look at that, Buck. It's like some joke. This blister rust is making a meal of Mother Nature, and it's some nasty meal, like quinoa salad or something. If it's born in the ground, it should stay there safe and sound. You're a quarter closer to just desserts, Buckaroo. I don't know if I like all of his food analogies. <laughs> Seems a little weird to me that everything is about food with that guy. What can you do, though, right? Please be an outpost. Please. We got a sign. Oops, sparkly. That's just the sort of weed we're looking for, Buck. Sally will be rip rear and ready for introductions in no time. I even made her little business cards. So it's almost like uh, you want to stay on the trails. That seems to be where I'm finding most of the sparkly stuff. Um, I haven't been seeing too much by cutting across the trails like I am right now. So that might be a pro tip if you're looking for the collectibles and sparklies and all that good stuff. 
Um, you might want to stick to the trails. I mean, that's something I'm going to have to test later out, I suppose, but... For right now, it seems like most of them are generated near or on the trails. I ain't seen nothing outside the trails, really, for the most part. Just that one. don't think our character can swim so I'm not even going to try and I'm only saying that because in the hunter call of the wild you can't swim <laughs> which is not really a, a good thing when you're out in the wilderness not being able to swim you think you'd be able to know how to swim All right, well, we got a fast travel location. I'm happy with that. We can uh we can end it. Any any collectibles? Any collectibles for me? Pay phone. We can get ourselves a Jeep. Which honestly, uh with games like this where there's collectibles and things you got to find and stuff like that, it's almost always better to just go on foot unless you have a destination in mind you're not worried about nothing else you always seem to find things that you want to know about when you go on foot right um well i suppose uh, we're at this point dang i keep hitting escape we're at this point um so we started here and we worked our way up and around down to here and yeah I do need to uh, I need to get some sleep um, but anyways let's check out what we've got so far I guess uh, so we don't really have anything in our wait what we've got spinner bait already I don't remember seeing spinner bait but hey we got spinner bait <laughs> Um, oh, that's nice. It tells you, uh, you want to present it as a sink bait, and you want a constant reel, so that's kind of nice. It tells you how to use it, or what technique you need to use to use it. Um, oh, look at this. So, we have loadouts, which is kind of neat. Our rig one, it's the greenhorn rod. We got the prologue reel, monofilament line, a bubble floater, a hook, and we're using bread. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, you can choose your fishing style for each loadout. I like that. I really like that. That's cool. That's something that the Hunter Call of the Wild is missing is like loadouts. So that's neat. I like that. And we've got 721. <laughs> Uh, dollars, gold, whatever you want to call it, coin. Uh, and we haven't done anything, so <laughs> that's cool. Um, our journal, this kind of tells us our checklist of the things that we need to do for the Golden Tour, which is what we're currently on. Although we're not strictly going on the Golden Tour, we're finding all the other stuff as well. Um, Shopkeeper has our challenges okay I should probably be doing these challenges while I'm walk, walking around the map but whatever we can do that later tutorial missions hey, Buckaroo, down on the range if you need me really you're, you're gonna talk to me when I'm nowhere near you that's that's great um, <laughs> so we've got the favors that uh, he wants to take a look at as well. Didn't we already find some of this stuff? Oh, we gotta keep finding it. That's what that is. Locate and report GPS stick. I wonder how many of these there are for each one. And then we got game guides. Okay, fair enough. We got a handbook. 
Look at that, we got a handbook. Reserve population. So far we've only discovered largemouth bass. Um, that's kind of neat. It tells you the habitats. They're near the shore, shallow lake, and deep lakes. They like red worms, leeches, and minnows. What are these traits? Looks like they strike hard. They like to jump, maybe. And they also like to dive. I'm ex oh, I could just press F. <laughs> um, aggressive goes directly for a strike without nibbling. They like to jump. I got that one right. I was kind of close on that one. Last stand. When close to getting caught, it fights with renewed vigor. Oh, so that's what that means. All right. I mean, that's that's cool that they that they the put that in there. The largemouth bass oh, is a freshwater game fish native to the eastern and central United States, southeastern Canada, and northern Mexico. The largemouth bass has an average lifespan of 10 to 16 years and can reach a maximum recorded overall length of 29.5 inches and a maximum unofficial weight of 25 pounds, one ounce. Bernard Germain de Lociped was the first to describe the largemouth bass in 1802, giving it the name Labrus Salmoides. The juvenile largemouth bass consumes mostly small bait fish, scuds, water fleas, cope pods, small shrimp and insects. Adults consume smaller fish, shad, worms, snails, crayfish, frogs, snakes, salamanders, bats, and even small water birds, mammals, turtle hatchlings, and alligator hatchlings. Prey items can be as large as 50% of the bass's body length or larger. Largemouth bass are a highly sought after angling fish, boasting a high octane exciting fight, with fish often becoming airborne in an effort to throw the hook. That's cool. I like how they narrated that. That is cool. Alright. Alright. I'm, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you, the angler. And then we go to our profile. It tells us our biggest catch, which was a silver largemouth bass so far. Our true score record. I'm not sure how they do a true score. Um, weight, I imagine. Points of interest discovered, 10 out of 102. Holy shit, we're going to be at this for a while. Right. Um, oh, there we go. So our fishing records, we've caught four fish. 80% strike rate because we were screwing around. Catch success rate, 100%. Favorite species, largemouth mass. Uh, average 0.4 kilograms. Average true score. Okay. We haven't mastered any tackles. Our favorite rod is a greenhorn. Favorite reel prologue. We don't have a favorite lure. Favorite bait is bread so far. Okay. Um. I, th there's good things about this game. And there's some things that are like. I don't know. It seems off. Like when you press track. It'd be nice if there was some kind of icon. To tell you hey you're tracking this now. Instead of having to go here and looking for it um, some minor graphical things like floating grass and stuff like that uh, I do like the voice acting that's nice flowing water moving water that's great it's fantastic I love that no complaints there I like the fact that there's collectibles. I like that they made the collectibles pretty obvious by making them glow. Um, I know it kind of seems like cheating, but I never would have found that stuff if it wasn't for... Speaking of collectibles, damn it. Um, can we not see the collectibles? Are you serious? So, they've got all that stuff that we found... The coins and the, um, what was the other thing that we found? I done forgot already. It doesn't tell us about any of that stuff? Really? So that's something that, that they should add, in my opinion. Oh, wait. Here we go. Latest catches. Coin. Yeah. Found it. Okay. Good job. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Um... This is interesting. I just noticed this. So the unrated stuff here, the juveniles, there's nothing up here in this corner. 
but here you start seeing it so you got the silver and then the gold or bronze sorry that's bronze not silver that's interesting instead of having like a really special icon a metal or something like that they chose to go with like this color option um I like it but I don't <laughs> I mean it's not obvious and I like that it's not obvious but the fact that it's not obvious is gonna make it really hard I think to try to spot these when you have you know a huge page full of fish trying to find the one that you're most proud of or whatever mmm not sure how I feel about that but here's our coins that's kinda cool we can ooh, we can inspect it the Illinois Centennial Half Dollar was struck to commemorate the state's addition to the Union and was minted in 1918 all the coins were sold though many were held by a bank until 1933 after which they were then sold off to help those in need. Well, that's kind of neat. I wish we can rotate it though. It'd be cool if they gave us a, the ability to rotate these so we can check out all of it. But uh, I'm not, I'm not hating on it. I'm pressing tab to, yeah, tab doesn't do anything. All right. And then we have the uh, Norwegian friendship dollar. Spanish companionship coin? Is that what that says? Um, I can't read that. The Norwegian friendship dollar was made to commemorate many years of happy friendship with the Scandinavian nation of Norway. The coin features a fjord inlet on the front and a hulking troll on the back. Well, I want to see the troll, damn it! <laughs> Um, right, lost. We found keys. Inspect to read more. Okay. We got keys with uh, something on there. This key ring has a quartet of keys shackled to a stainless steel hoop bur burnished with rose colored strings and streamers. All these adornments have lost a little bloom. They were clearly vibrant at some point. Each key has faded to some measure of antiquity after presumably years of unuse. However, they are still clearly legible. The keys themselves look like a toolbox, each a distinctive, each a distinctive size and shape as if their intricacies even evaded the owner, and they needed an easy way to tell them apart. Bundled with one of the more obstinate and chunky looking keys is a diminutive note written in what appears to be a particularly poor attempt at cursive. <laughs> you can definitely pick out the word boat in what appears to be a hand-drawn picture of said boat, replete with spoiler and presumably a large sack of chipotle cheese potato chips. Mounted on the boat is a large-looking man in a funny brown hat labeled Pop. The most wayfish keys look like one of those fragile and essentially porcelain implements used for the ancient cubby holes down at the heart of Golden Ridge Retreat. Its years of use are likely long over, and although it won't be opening anything anymore, it still stands as a tidy memento, something we can never really go back to, but something that definitely that's definitely still there. Huh. So, did, did, is this a... Do we get a boat? <laughs> figures, we haven't found any figures, and we don't have any notes. All right. So that's that, guys, and holy crap, it is nighttime. What the hell? Do we, do we just automatically get a light? Okay, H takes us to that. Um, shit. And I still haven't found a way to, uh, to fast forward time if I wanted to, so... Eee, that's not cool. Well, at least we're at a little shack that we can't get into, right? I suppose we can just sleep on this very, very tiny little bench. Um, oh, wow, you can even read that. I'm not going to, but if you want to read this, go ahead and press the pause button and you can read that. Probably interesting stuff on there. 
Oh, that little map tells me where our little shacks are, too. So there's only four? Five? Five outposts on this whole map? That can't be right. Right? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If I've heard it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one where we're going to continue the Golden Tour.